Good afternoon, guys. Today I have a Cocker Spaniel that is 14 years old and is completely deaf. They have some skin issues going on, and I'll explain that in a little bit. But um, we're going to get started, and yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so first things first, this girl, this boy, sorry, this boy has some, you know, scaly stuff. It's shaved because the vet shaved it, not the owner, not me. Um, so we're gonna do a modified Cocker Spaniel cut. I'm not going to do a Cocker cut. That's where you leave up here, you leave the skirt long, we're not doing that. This is gonna be really short up here, and then we're gonna trim quite a bit of this off. Just, just clean him up a little bit because he's older. This is going to have to be shorter than I want it. She wants it super short um, to match with this. And then the next time we'll keep it a little longer. We're going to trim the ears up quite a bit. Um, he has ear infections right now that they're working on. So this that is going because it's warming up. It takes a minute to warm up. So I want to make something very, very clear. I saw one comment that stated I use medicated human products. I do not use any human products on any dogs. This is a medicated shampoo and it specifically says right here for dogs, cats, and horses. It says right here, Davis Veterinary Products. This is a dog product. I do not use any human products on dogs whatsoever. So I wanna make that clear. Everything I use, is for animals dogs so we're just gonna get get him wet get him started with the bathing process Just wanna get all this wet. The shampoo I am currently using that's in my bathing system is a degreaser slash flea <laughs> shampoo. <clears throat> Sorry guys. It's the shampoo that's making me sneeze. I'm not allergic to it. It's just a pretty strong smelling shampoo. gonna get that soaking I mean that I don't know what the skin condition is they've been to the vet um, but I am gonna put some of this on there it is a antibacterial antifungal shampoo and we're going to I'm going to very thoroughly bathe him with this shampoo and then I'm going to put some of the specialized shampoo on him and then he's going to have to sit here for a few minutes for it to work. She was, she wanted the eye booger, the eyes really good and clean. So I'm just going to get them wet. And while he is soaking with the medicated shampoo, the eye boogers will soak also and we'll get those off. So we're going to put some on that. We're going to put some back here. And then I felt some under here too. I get this, you can get this off of Amazon. Does that feel good? Huh? A bottle of this is about $15, $20. It's a lot cheaper if you get it online versus getting it from your vet. Because of course they're going to upcharge you. All right, so that's on. I'm gonna let it sit for five, 10 minutes. And then, um, I 
just want to try to get that into the spots. Okay, just gonna rinse this off real quick, and then I'm just going to gently work on this stuff in here. See, it's already coming off. When it's so bad that your dog is raw and bleeding, you have got to clean your dog's eyes more often. So all that goopy eye stuff just came off. Okay, so I'm gonna stand here and let him soak and I'll just um, answer emails and stuff while I'm waiting and then we'll rinse him off. All right, it's been probably eight minutes or so. Now I'm just going to rinse him. Go screwed up, boy. Very, very, very full anal glands. What are anal glands? What is the purpose of anal glands? Why do we need to express them? So, when dogs have anal glands, they have to be expressed. If we don't express them, they can become too full, which is called impaction, and then they have to be surgically fixed by a vet. So, what is the purpose of anal glands? So, when a dog defecates, it the anal glands re release scent. They're basically scent glands. They release scent onto the feces. And if we don't express them, they can become too full and then need to be fixed by a vet because they become impacted. It is a myth that if you start anal glands when they're young that they will have to have them express the rest of their life guys you should always express your dog's anal glands always i have some dogs that i express their anal glands every time and they barely have any then there's other dogs where i express their anal glands every single time they come in and every single time they're on the verge of becoming impacted so I'm going to use the high velocity dryer real quick. Spray some Shoshin. Um, again, this is a dog product for daily grooming on horses, cattle, dogs, llamas, pig, camels, goats, alpacas, and sheep. Detangles dog mats. Okay, so this is just to help the coat be more manageable when I am going to cut the coat. If you're going to use Shoshin, you need to be careful on sealed concrete and tile. It makes it slippery. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, I'm gonna get a clean towel. Okay. I'm gonna take her to the cage dryer and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the cage dryer. So these cage dryers that I have are temperature regulated. If it gets too hot in the dryer, if it gets over a certain temperature, the dryers will shut off. This cage has plenty of ventilation on the front and on the bottom. It's got the grate on the bottom, so if they urinate, they're not sitting in the urine. But these are temperature regulated. If for I in the over a year that I have been using these dryers, I have never had it shut off. I've had it um, turned to low a couple times, but I never had it shut off. I've never had a dog anywhere close to overheating. I'd say 75% of the dogs that I get out of here aren't even panting. And the ones, you know, the 25 or so that are panting is because they're nervous. They're not hot. So um, we're gonna turn this on and get him dry. And when he's dry, we'll get him finished. All right, we're gonna get this boy finished. I'm gonna start with a 30 blade. Get these paw pads cleaned up. matted in here. Come on, boy. So I don't want to go this short. This is probably a 40 blade reverse. Um, I'm not going to go that short, but I will do a 10. Usually I would do the nails and stuff first, sanitary, but when I have a dog with this much fur, I want to get the, the body done first. Okay. 
So I'm gonna turn him. We're gonna take this off real quick. You want to find, this is how I groom a Cocker Spaniel, okay? We all groom differently. I go down to the collarbone, the, sorry, not the collarbone, the chest bone, and shave down to it. Okay. Stand up, stand up straight. turn him real quick just to get this side Okay, back on here. Hey, buddy. Turn him. That's not how you cut a cocker. I don't care. This is how I cut him. And. You know, I'm not a professional groomer. I never will, and prof by professional, I mean show. There's a major difference between pet grooming and show grooming. I will never be a show groomer, never. Um, some of the things that show people have to do to get their dogs to look a certain way, I don't agree with it. And so I'm not going to ever be a show groomer. Okay. Top third of the ear is supposed to be shaved on cockers. All this needs to be shaved anyway because this dog has ear infections. So what I do is I shave the entire inside of this ear. And then on the outside you can't even tell. Okay. So I'm going to turn him. We're gonna do the same on this side.
no crown on this guy. They just want it short. So that's what we're going to do. It just looks funny with that. It makes me want to do a schnauzer cut. So now I am going to trim the skirt. They want quite a bit cut off. So I'm gonna check my phone real quick and then we'll do the skirt. All right, so I'm going to first do a half inch. This is a half inch. Just gonna see how this looks first. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll cut a little bit and then I'll send it to the owner and be like, hey, is this short enough? Okay, so I think that's a pretty good, well, I might do this on the body and then do one shorter on the legs. Um, but yeah, for now, we'll stick with this length. Sorry guys, had to message someone real quick. All right, so we're just going to continue.
a lot of the Cocker Spaniels that I do pant like this all the whole time. Um, and I don't know if it's because they're overweight. I don't know if it's genetics. Um, but they're not hot. There's a very common misperception that they're hot. Um, they're not hot. I have so many clients that come in and say, hey, my dog's a panter. He, they pant all the time. Um, it's not because they're hot. It's not because they can't breathe. It, it's nerves. Anxiety. I don't know what it is. But there are quite a few dogs where they even pant, you know, this much at home. Okay, so before I go any further into trimming the skirt, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to just clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna get the Dremel. feet while I'm here with it. doing this boy come on you're fine don't oh growling you're fine Always have to wear a mask when you are using a Dremel. If you are breathing this in and you are purposely not wearing a mask when using a Dremel, you are crazy. You are crazy to be breathing all that in. Okay, so now I'm gonna trim these back feet.
Okay. You sit. There you go. Sorry guys, I have a lot of people that I'm in contact with every day and a lot of them just check in because of, you know, they know that I'm a single parent and that we live alone. So several people check on me every day just to make sure I'm alive and well. So I always have to respond to them. I can't figure out what's going on here. If it's if there's like a tumor, why this right here, it, yeah, it is a tumor. It feels like a fatty tumor. I was like, why is that so much bigger than over here? But it's it feels like a tumor. And my dad calls me, you know, multiple, multiple times a day just to check in and see how things are doing. So. Yep. And my friends, you know, they know any time that they want to call me, text me, I am there in a heartbeat. I don't care if it's 12 o'clock at night. I don't care if it's 3 o'clock in the morning. If someone wants to call and talk to me, um, that is a friend, you know, that I know in real life, then I will 100% answer that phone call. All my friends are on my favorites on my phone, so if there's an emergency that they have, they can get a hold of me. Now, <laughs> people calling from out of state, just calling to bug me, you know, that's, they're, they're gonna go to the do not disturb time frame. Front legs are always a little bit more difficult because you have to go around multiple times. So now I'm just going to trim.
guess. So brush these ears out. buddy. Sound like you're dying. I'm so sick of these freaking scissors. Like, sorry, but they are driving me absolutely nuts the ears to look as natural as possible okay so I'm gonna turn him I'll, I will be 100% honest with you guys. Cocker Spaniels are not one of my favorite breeds to groom. Their hair is so thick. Um, they're just... They're just not my favorite dog to groom. So, I'm gonna take a 10, 15, 10, take a 10 blade, I think is what I used. Take a 10 blade, and we're just going to clean this up some more. Still has junk in the eyes, just junk. Okay, so this ear needs a little bit more trimming. Boy, you gotta put your head up.
All right, so now we already did the sanitary back there. I'm gonna get him a bandana. And I hope you guys know that that's not how I really say bandana. When I go bandana, I'm just saying it to be silly. I don't say bandana like that, so bandana. Huh. Bandana, just to make that clear. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but the vet's treating it so I'm going to take all this hair off the table just to get a better look. Make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm going to turn him. Yep, looks pretty good to me. Well, there's a little bit of trimming. Everything else looks pretty good. Spray him with a little doggy cologne. All right, and he's done. So, the wish list for the Rover's street outreach is down below if you guys would like to help with that. The main need that we have right now is gloves, sweatshirts, sweatpants, condoms, and um, the, the, the majority of the major things that we need are going to be at the top of the list. I've been trying to leave them at the top of the list so everybody knows where they are. But thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.